Hey guys, welcome to day three of my seasonal seven series. Where I post seven videos in seven days leading up to and the end of summer solstice. Now, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> this is my kitchen, and uh, this is my setup for the ritual. Now, I know you're like, damn bitch, it seems like a lot. Why are you so extra? Hold, please. I'm going to explain, and you don't have to do this, but I'm going to explain. Okay, but first, I just wanna say one more thing, and that is I'm gonna need all of you to do me a real solid and ignore everything that's happening here. Um, there's a lot, a lot has happened in the last week or so, and those things have resulted in me standing in front of you now wearing a bathing suit top instead of a shirt. And uh, I haven't showered in like four days. I couldn't shower, to be fair. I'm not being lazy, I couldn't. Five days, it's been a minute, my, I'm gross. I need to acknowledge it first because it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> and we're all just gonna ignore that, okay? Okay, cool. It's been a week. Fucking retrograde. Am I right? <laughs> Eclipse season. We. Now, into this ritual, shall we? <laughs> all right, so the ritual itself is actually really, 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 really simple. Uh, there's not a lot to it, but there's a reason for that. A couple, a couple points I wanna make. One. This is a ritual where I really think observation and setup is the most important part. That's why you see what you see in front of me. I don't think there's a real need to do a ton of ritual work on the solstice. It's more about observation and bringing the energy into your life. Now tomorrow, your tomorrow, my two days from now, I'm gonna post a video about observations. It's going to be lots of little things, cool things that you can do on the solstice, like making sun water um, and making sun tea. Those will be in there. Those things are the kinds of things that you should do on the solstice. Now, if you want to do a ritual, a manifestation type ritual, I would recommend this, but I really think that you should, instead of pouring a bunch of energy into an elaborate ritual, pour your energy into bringing the energy or the, uh, the solstice into your altar, into your space. That's why I'm in my kitchen at my island <laughs> with the whole thing covered. Now, you don't have to be a sexer about it, right? But as, as much as it looks like I have a lot out, I actually don't. It's just mostly flowers and, you know, greenery. There's a lot of, there's a lot of ferns happening out here um, and a lot of flowers. That's really what's going on. There's not actually a ton happening. There's nine candles, a lot of flowers, and a few crystals in a cauldron. That's what's happening, but it's spread out, right? And I spent a lot of time, oh no, my butterfly wheel stopped. It's operated by a candle that went out. You light the candle, the heat rises. When the heat rises, it makes the spinny spin, spin. <sighs> That's what I said. I'm just gonna leave it there. That's what we did. That's what we're doing today. Anyways. I really think that for this ritual, you should focus more on creating your space. Um, it doesn't have to be this elaborate, but even if you decorate it with handmade stuff or just cover it in wildflowers, go out and pick a bunch of wildflowers, and throw them on a the table. Um, all the candles I have here are beeswax candles. Bees are kind of a summer associated animal. I'm gonna post an observances video and I really think those are the things you want to do during the daytime. And then this is the thing you would do at night. Light the fire when the sun goes down. Um, and you can do a bonfire instead if you want to do that instead of this. But ah, it's pretty, right? <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get into it. Space, set up, incense, if you can, burning. Um, I'm going to link below and above here uh, my videos. If you haven't seen them yet. I have a video on how I prepare for my space um, and how I smudge my space. This is one of those times where I think that's really key. Like I said before, I think this ritual is going to come down to 
the work you do up to it. The action itself is very, very, very simple, but bringing the energy and the observance of the solstice into your space is I think really the integral part. Cleaning the space out, preparing yourself, setting up your space, that's really gonna be where it's at. Now, also, I wanna tell some of you who might wanna know this, the summer solstice is traditionally in some um, traditions and some cultures, uh, is very strongly associated with love. Love, romance, marriage. Um, so, if you're somebody who's looking to have a love setting intention, it would be a good day for you to do that. If you want to draw love into your life, excellent day for that. Now, other than that, we've got everything set up. It's literally just going to be writing your intention. Um, I am going to recommend a petition. That's what I did uh, this spring, and I think they're powerful. I stand by them. So I would recommend that. Other way, you can just write anything you want. It could be a sigil. It could just be uh, an intention. It could be a word. It could be a drawing if you're artistically inclined. I am not. I draw stick people poorly. Um, but to draw, to write a petition is as simple as dear, whatever you want to write it out to. You can write it to the universe, God, guides, higher self, angels, whatever floats your boat, okay? You would address the letter. You're going to address the letter to whoever you want. And then you're going to write a petition out. And you're going to ask for what you want. Say, hi, I would like to humbly request, blah, 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 blah. And then you think them. And then we're going to burn it and drop it in a fire safe container. I, I know that I'm on YouTube, so I have to be like, like legally color, cover myself and, and do the correct thing. Like the disclaimer, like don't blame me if you set your house on fire, but it annoys me that I have to. So for the record, don't set your house on fire. Use a fire safe container, use common sense. Maybe keep water nearby, whatever you gotta do. Um, I got a cauldron here, that'll do. So that's what I'm gonna do for a demonstration. Simple letter. What I recommend you do is that you use your, um, okay, I'm gonna set my butterfly on fire if I don't move it. How do things are, oh, there's wax. Oh, I'm, oh, okay, well, we, all right. This is falling apart very quickly. To be fair, it's been burning for like four hours, so. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna recommend that you use your symbolic fires to light it. I also would recommend, in my cauldron, I'm going to sprinkle, oh, I'm gonna sprinkle some rose petals in here. And I'm gonna set my paper on fire and place it on top of this bed of rose petals, essentially, so that um, it's like an alchemical, right? Does that make sense? Alchemical is what I'm going with, is my final answer, thank you. Make sure you're using intention. Make sure you're conscious. Take a deep breath. Observe your breath in and out. Feel it with your emotions. Know that the fire is releasing it out. Sending your message, your will, your blessings. Feel it in your heart space. Don't imagine it in your mind. Feel it in your heart space. When you're ready, let it burn out in a fire safe container. Or in this case, I'll allow it to set roses on fire. Make sure you just watch it burn. Know that the smoke that's rising is the transmutation of your will, your desire, your blessings, moving itself out into the universe. My bear fell down. One more thing I want to add. If you notice, I will put a link below to a couple of websites that'll list associations for you. Um, I have an elephant here, a bear, a butterfly, a bee, a dragonfly, butterfly, bee, and then my personal owls all on the table. Those are all associations. Um, the flowers that I've used here, not traditional associations other than my roses and my sunflowers because um, the engine in my car blew up recently and I don't have a car to go get things so I went to the flower store that was in walking distance and this is what the fuck they had so 
that's what we're using. Um, the candles are all beeswax. Um, my tablecloth is the color orange with another one on top that has butterflies on it. Um, I've got crystals out, I've got my emerald right here. That's malachite. Um, everything that I have is gold. I've got gold candle holders, my gold butterfly spinner, uh, my like brass bell. Oh my God, I forgot. <sighs> Guys, if you're still watching the video, lucky you, cause I forgot some shit. That's what the bell is here for. The summer solstice is the day it's like the Halloween of fairies. It's like the day when the veil between this world and the fairy world is the thinnest. It's easy to communicate with them. And by the way, they love bells. You can put fairy things, welcome fairies. You can make a fairy garden. Um, you can include that into your altar space to bring the energy of fairies in if you want as well. I don't really do much of that. I just have my bell that was supposed to remind me to tell you, which obviously failed until now. So kind of a one, but um, the point is, when you make your space, try to incorporate as much of the summer solstice energy into it. Use creative expression for sure. Um, and again, like none of the flowers I'm really using are associated. That's just what I can get my hands on and that's fine too. But I would take the time to set up your space considerably and um, take time writing your petition, take time feeling the will of your petition um, other than that, the act itself is very, very simple. This is not a complicated ritual. They don't have to be, especially when fire is involved. Fire is so, right? It's fire. So it doesn't have to be a very complicated ritual, but it's about the conscious effort that goes into it. Um, this is day three. We have four more, including observances that I think will be really, really handy. So stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, now it's a good time. And if you appreciate this content at all, it's super, super, Super helps me more than you know if you interact with the content. Um, liking it, commenting, sharing it, subscribing, hitting the bell notification, any and all those things is tremendously helpful and I appreciate it a shit ton. Uh, lastly, there's a fuck ton of links below. If you care to look, <laughs> there's a podcast and merch and a website and you can book tarot readings with me. And there's a plea for help down there also. And uh, there's my social media links, etc., etc., etc. Have a wonderful solstice and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.